In 1910, Andrew Rube Foster, who was then the captain of a team called the Leland Giants, would somehow wrestle away control from Frank Leland, who was a co-owner of the team. And in 1911, the team won a remarkable 123 games with six losses. I know, sounds like something right out of a video game, but it is absolutely true. Foster would eventually change the name of the team to the Chicago American Giants. And if you understand how the Negro Leagues operated, it was very typical that they would add the word giant to their name because it would signify that they were a professional black team. But very few of them were as significant and as dominant as Rube Foster's Chicago American Giants. Rube Foster, of course, would bring those Chicago American Giants in as a charter member of the newly formed Negro National League in 1920. The Chicago American Giants would immediately demonstrate its dominance right out of the gate, winning championships in several of the early seasons of the newly formed Negro Leagues. And it took only the Kansas City Monarchs to step up and rival the dominance of the Chicago American Giants. But no franchise had as long a run in the Negro Leagues, 42 years, as the Chicago American Giants. 